Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, the 14th of April, marked exactly six months until the end of support of Windows 10. But regardless, Microsoft has still pushed out a insider preview update to the release preview channel insiders with KB50. Double five six one two, which will be our next optional bug fix C release update that will be rolled out towards the end of this month. So if we head to the calendar, I would suggest that the update would roll out next week Tuesday or the following Tuesday, the 29th. And Microsoft does roll those updates out near the end of every month. And those are the optional bug fix non-security C release updates. Now, this is what I would consider to be a very light update or a light release, as I like to call it on the channel, because we only get two fixes, one for graphics and one for the operating system security, with the first fix for graphics being the following. Microsoft says, the check for GPU para virtualization was case sensitive in Windows subsystem for Linux 2, WSL2 for short. And just in case you don't know what Para virtualization is basically it provides an interface to virtual machines that are similar to their underlying hardware. Now apparently um, the issue was that it might potentially cause GPU para virtualization support to fail. And then it also updates the Windows kernel vulnerable driver block list. Additions have been made, Microsoft says, to block list drivers with security vulnerabilities that have been used in bring your own vulnerable driver attack. So that's taking place under the hood. So two fixes and that's it. There's no front facing features that Microsoft um, is talking about. There's no other tweaks and adjustments, just two fixes, which is a good indication though, that obviously with six months left of support that Microsoft now is focusing a lot more on Windows 11 and really just pushing out what they have to to Windows 10 just to keep it um, secure and stable until the end of support date. And as you can see, because of this, Windows 11 has been pushed quite heavily uh, by Microsoft. And I'll leave the video for this banner linked down below in the end screen if you would be interested. And when KB5055612 rolls out in a couple of days time, the OS build will be bumped up to 19045.5794 or somewhere in that immediate point release vicinity. And obviously when that happens, I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.